How's it going guys? My name is Shane. Welcome back to the Horror Basement. And today we're doing another installment in the Cryptids of Maryland series, where I talk about the various uh, mythological and yet to be uh, fully discovered by science creatures that call the state of Maryland home. Today we're going to be talking about Chessie, or the Chesapeake Bay uh, Serpent or Sea Monster. The, uh, now, obviously, the name of this creature is an allusion to Nessie, the um, cryptid from Loch Ness over in Scotland. So Nessie for Loch Ness and Chessie for the Chesapeake Bay, uh, which is why in popular culture or media, um, it's some, Chessie is sometimes portrayed as being a plesiosaur-type creature, which is the, you know traditional depiction you see of the Loch Ness Monster being a, like, water-dwelling dinosaur with the long neck and the flippers. Uh, but in all of the history of the Chessie sightings, um, it's always been portrayed as being um, a sea serpent, which is to say um, a long snake-like creature with uh, no discernible horns or other protrusions and uh, a small head. Now, the lengths of Chessie when it's been sighted has varied from um, anywhere from 20 to 40 feet. Um, and this is actually one of the uh, longest uh, running uh, creatures we've covered thus far, because uh, the earliest sightings of um, strange and unknown creatures in the Chesapeake Bay date back to the, um, to the 1800s. And uh, sightings of Chessie continued up through the uh, 1990s, uh, but we'll get into uh, why they stopped in the 90s a little later in the video. So Chessie has the uh, distinction of being um, the, own, the first uh, cryptid that I've covered in this series that uh, no one has tried to uh, have a fist fight with. Uh, you'll remember in the previous videos we talked about um, uh, the Snallygaster and the Dueo, which are literally a werewolf and a dragon, and yet uh, when people saw them, they decided to um, engage them in physical combat. So it's not to say that people have not tried to um, hunt or catch Chessie, uh, but they've, due to Chessie living underwater, uh, they have not been able to fight it. And much to the contrary, they actually adopted Chessie uh, in the 1980s, as a kind of mascot for um, environmentalist efforts to uh, stop, clean up, and stop pollution of the Chesapeake Bay. So they released uh, videos and coloring books for kids with Chessie as the uh, mascot that uh, talked about um, the ecological health of the uh, Bay Area and what uh, people can do to stop pollution and keep the Bay clean and all that. So as I said, um, the uh, sightings of Chessie uh, stopped or lessened to a great degree in the mid-90s when some scientists actually found um, a number of manatees that for some reason, due to like ocean currents or something, had migrated up to the Chesapeake Bay from their normal um, habitat in Florida. And uh, since these uh, manatees have been tagged and tracked and presumably sent back down to Florida, um, and since the mid-90s when this happened, uh, sightings of Chessie have greatly uh, diminished, which leads the, uh, which has led some of the more skept skeptical people in the, uh, the cryptozoology field to believe that um, over a hundred years of people seeing... Um, you know, giant snakes in the water the size of a uh, school bus could all be blamed on um, manatees who got lost. Uh, so, but obviously um, the jury is still out on that. And uh, as we do with all creatures in this uh, series, we assume that Chessie is 100% um, true, exists, and I personally support them in their efforts to keep um, the bay clean. So that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, in the spirit of Chessie and the other um, mythical creatures that call Maryland home, uh, remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, 
and in uh, less altruistic uh, fashion, hit that subscribe button for more uh, videos from me. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.